Top APC stalwarts grown as Sirima appoint Gandhiji's son and daughter's husband in his cabinet. Some APC stalwarts are unhappy while considering what it really takes to be among Tinubu's cabinet members. They have expressed pain over Tinubu's recent choice of appointments, noting the hopes of the foot soldiers who walked for his emergence as Nigeria's president have been dashed. The issue lies around the appointment of Abdullahi Gadiye's son as executive director, technical services of the Rural Electrification Agency, and the appointment of Tinubu's daughter's husband, Oyetunde Ojo, Oyetunde Ojo, as the chief executive officer of the Federal Housing Authority. Lamentation rocked the polity over recent appointment by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Many may think that President Tinubu has so far favored his friend and political associate at the detriment of competence, which he vowed to be the key criterion in the recruitment of his lieutenant, Daily Trust reported. Barely one month after he was declared the winner of a 2023 presidential election, President Tinubu in his statement declared, that neither religion nor ethnicity or such other consideration would determine appointment into his government. Contrary to that solemn promise, however, some Nigerians, including chieftains of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, are raising good concerns about the tendency of the president towards the appointment of friends, family, and associates to positions of authority, in some cases without proper regard to their qualifications. Their major contention has to do with the president's appointment of his daughter's husband, Oyetunde Ojo, as the chief executive officer of the Federal Housing Authority, FHA. Tenubu's daughter, Fola Shade Tenubu Ojo, is the Iyaloja of Lagos. Also mentioned is the appointment of Omar Abdullahi Gandhiji as the executive director of Technical Services, Rural Electrification Agency, REA. Omar is the son of Abdullahi Omar Gandhiji, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. APC members worried promises of patronage yet to be fulfilled. Top APC stars and foot soldiers have expressed grave concern over the president's various appointment. The party stakeholders are reported to be unhappy with Tinubu's style of appointment since he became president. Reacting to the development, credible sources also lamented the delay in fulfilling promises of political patronage at this center. APC leader says Tenebu's chances in 2027 is thin. According to a senior party leader who pleaded anonymity, the president's 2027 ambition might be in jeopardy since he is now seen as a man perceived to be running a one-man show in Abuja and does not care about party members from states he got votes from. Most of those who showed unwavering loyalty to him with the hope that their supporters would be rewarded with federal appointment or disappointment, the source said. Another source familiar with the workings around the presidency said, The president has asked governors to submit names for chief executive officers of agencies, which they did, but he failed to act on those names to date. Another source who pleaded anonymity disclosed that the idea of governor submitting names was to correct the alleged infractions noticed in ministerial positions and other appointments by those people the president trusted. It is now evident that the president is running a one-man government with his kinsmen from Lagos and Oshun, he lamented. APC chieftain Baxtonobu for an appointment. Lajid on earlier reported that the chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC has thrown his weight behind the choice and of President Bola May's Tunubu appointment. In an exclusive chat with Lajid on Sunday, October 1st, the convener of APC South Coalition, Francis Okoye, queried the session that Tunubu is assigning major positions to strong individuals from his ethnic group. He described as untrue that Tenubu is favoring selected persons from the Southwest region and Europe to be precise in key ministries and organization. <laughs> you will never see anything. <laughs> you will read the book of lamentations. 
You will not see the end. <laughs> Look at these people. <laughs> if you see how this particular news that you read, I will enjoy. Eh? <laughs> what did people expect? See, no one no one expect this. If you remember, there was a particular group of people too that came out when Muhammad Buhari was actually. I mean, houses, northerners who came out and was like, ah. ah. Say this man no send them again. No. Say they worked for him and after everything. That's what that one too. Read the book of lamentation. Mm -hmm. Buari finish time. You know, yeah, you say Buari immediately read yeah, change. You know, even though even see and papa and go as uh, such is life, life is not fair. Eh? Now the same thing now for Tunum. Learn. Who gonna learn? It's better we put somebody who we don't need the person to be giving us anything. Because if this Nigeria is good, I don't think I'll come to your door and knock that you should do this one for me. The Nigeria about that. Everybody's going to be fine. Yes. I've said it. I want a Nigeria where even if the person who washes cars, a car wash, eh, is doing a business, it is because he's doing it service based. He gains joy from it because he's almost at the same as in, you see, as how will you get that? As they use get uniformity for a brother, nobody is feeling, oh, I'm feeling poor, or uh, the person is feeling left out. Nah. Let there be uniformity. You understand? Let them be doing things normally. They would not. I don't know how to communicate it, but that is the kind of Nigeria I want. Why grow when you are sister as well to rig and buy the Nigerian polity? The positive and impunity are the leading ideologies among Nigerian politicians. So please, wait for your turn. Hold on. No talk. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, what do you promise to continue with the government of Nepal? Yes! Like I said, Buhari did this. So, in promise, I'm not saying we'll continue. And obviously, this is what he's doing. So, why are you reading the Book of Lamentations now? <laughs> okay. Oh... With the government, okay, as well, you promise to continue with the government of nepotism and impunity started by his infamous predecessor and not for the progress of Nigeria. So please let him ride on. And the one, but me, sincerely, this is what I'm going to see that Omar Gandhi's son. Omar Gandhi's son. For people who are going to say, eh, is it competent? Say the name in only one family that will hear their name for politics till I grow old, get gray hair, yeah, my tooth will go brown. I don't understand. I like I look at shame as in they, they say, oh, if you know be like this. There are some people have said it before that they have been in government for so long, their family members have been there that their name is now, you know. If they don't call the name for government, you will be asking you should this person is still their life. This is not how it is supposed to be. That place is not supposed to be a permanent place for anybody. It is uh, it is a what's it called? It is a country and not a company. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.